Um, I just want to warn you all now that if you see me looking like this and it looks like I'm reading, it's because I actually am. Um, I have to record this off my phone and I have like my manuscript on my iPad. So I have to read it from there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Isis the Enchantress. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to turn my notifications on so you don't miss a post from moi. And give this video a thumbs up. It'll really help me out a lot. And it'll give me a general idea about what kind of content y'all like from me. I just want to get started with a quick disclaimer. All data and information provided in this video are for informational purposes only. All facts stated in this video are from the internet and I'm putting it into this video. I make no representations as to the accuracy, completeness, currentness, suitability, or validity of any information in this video. I will not be held liable for any errors, omissions, or delays in this information or any losses or injuries arising from this display or use. Today we're going to be talking about the brutal murder of Bobby Jo Stennett and the kidnapping of her unborn child. So fair warning, this case is about the murder of a pregnant woman. Bobby Jo Stennett was a 23-year-old woman who was found brutally murdered in her home in Skidmore, Missouri on December 16, 2004. Not only was she murdered, but she was 8 months pregnant and the baby had been cut from her womb and the child was not found at the scene of the murder. She was married for a little over a year and this was her first child. She worked in an engine factory and was a rat terrier breeder with her husband. She was discovered by her mother, Becky Harper, in a pool of blood almost an hour after her murder and her mother immediately dialed 911. When asked to describe the wounds inflicted upon the victim, she said that it appeared as if her daughter's stomach she said that it appeared as if her daughter's stomach had exploded. When the police got to the scene, they found an umbilical cord that had been cut and immediately started to search for the baby. So this case literally just turned from a homicide to a missing persons case. And an amber alert was issued. Bobby Joe's body was taken to St. Francis Hospital in Maryland, Missouri, where they tried to revive her but was unsuccessful and she was pronounced dead. Police actually recovered pieces of hair found in Bobby Joe's hands at the scene of the crime and kept it for DNA testing because they believed it to belong to the murderer. Upon the police searching her house and checking her computer records, the police learned that Bobby Joe is expecting to meet someone at her home interested in purchasing a rat terrier puppy from her. The woman's name was Darlene Fisher. She met Darlene in a chat room called Ratter Chatter, which was an online chat room for rat terrier owners and breeders, or you know, people interested in rat terriers in general. Upon further investigation, Darlene Fisher's true identity was found to be Lisa Marie Montgomery. Lisa Marie Montgomery, born February 27, 1968, was 36 at the time of her crime. She was born and raised in Melbourne, Kansas, which is almost three hours away by car to Skidmore, Missouri, which is where the attack took place. Lisa was raised in a chaotic home and from an early age she was known to be a liar. She usually lied to manipulate people into feeling sorry for her and doing things that she wanted done. Lisa claims that she was being sexually abused by a stepfather, but because she told so many lies, no one believed her. And I just want to throw in there that just because someone is a known liar doesn't mean you should 100% completely discredit them when they're saying they're being abused. I'm not saying you have to believe everything they're saying 100%, but at least take the claim serious until proven otherwise. So when her mother actually found out about the sexual abuse, she actually threatened Lisa, her daughter, who was only 14 at the time, with a gun. When Lisa turned 18 to leave the abusive household, she got married. But when she left, her husband only abused her more. Due to the abuse she faced as a child, she constantly wanted attention. One of the major ways she'd seek attention would be faking pregnancies. She claimed to be pregnant, but around the time of the due date, she claimed to have miscarried. By 1990, Lisa had four children from her first marriage and had a tubal ligation, a tubectomy where she had her tubes burned, and 
that's an irreversible process but even after this procedure she still would continue to make false pregnancy claims by this time lisa had become a pro at faking pregnancies she made fake doctor's appointments wear baggy clothes and would harden and extend her stomach outwards more when people asked to touch it so that she would appear pregnant She'd even go as far as to printing fake baby ultrasound photos off the internet and would pass them off as her own to like family and acquaintances. Her husband at the time believed she was eight months pregnant but had never been with her to any doctor's appointments nor did he notice any major signs of pregnancy from her. She was so good at lying and manipulating people. She fooled her own husband. Keep in mind that she laid next to this man in bed every night, saw her naked body, and still believed she was pregnant when she actually wasn't. Approaching her alleged due date, Lisa had to think of a plan on how to get a baby. She was a part of the online chat room Ratter Chatter as well because she also bred rat terriers. Lisa befriended Bobby Joe in the online chat room and even manipulated her into thinking that they maybe been at the same dog show together once. When Lisa learned that Bobby Joe was eight months pregnant, she lied and told Bobby Joe that she was eight months pregnant as well and said that she wanted to come over to see her puppies. Bobby Joe agreed and set up a date in the time. 200 miles away, Lisa Montgomery is on her way to Bobby Joe's home equipped with a knife, a rope, and a home birthing kit. When inside Bobby Joe's home, Lisa asks to see the puppies. When Bobby Joe's back is turned, Lisa starts pulling out the rope. And when Bobby Joe actually bends down to get the puppy, Lisa starts to strangle Bobby Joe to the floor unconscious. When Lisa starts to cut the baby out of Bobby Joe's stomach, Bobby Joe wakes up and Lisa strangles her unconscious again. Bobby Jo began to deliver the babies prematurely through C-section procedures that she learned from an online video. Surprisingly, she successfully delivered the baby and the baby survived and is still alive to this day. When Lisa returned home with the new baby the next day, she took the baby to the town diner and was showing her baby off to everyone in town. Everyone was thrilled except one friend who had seen the Amber Alert for the missing baby and she'd always been suspicious about Lisa's pregnancy. Putting two and two together, she called the police and reported her suspicions. Lisa was arrested that same day and the police used DNA testing to confirm the infant's identity. Lisa's hair was also tested with the hairs found in Bobby Joe's hand at the scene and it was a match and the baby was finally returned to her biological father after that day. Lisa Marie Montgomery was charged with kidnapping resulting in death and was sentenced to death. She's currently on death row. So the police actually worked pretty quickly on this case. Lisa left a lot of evidence at the scene and was caught literally the next day. I'm just glad the baby was still alive and healthy and returned to her dad and hopefully the family supported each other after this tragedy so she isn't affected horribly about having to grow up without her biological mother. That's all for this video guys. Let me know what you guys thought about this case in the comments. Again, I know it was short but I wanted to be able to drop two videos back to back so I can get y'all's feedback. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to take care of yourself and each other. L-Y-B. Love you. Bye.